This video is brought to you by Spin Magazine. Hello guitar geeks, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at not one, but two Player Series guitars from Fender. This is the Player Series Jazzmaster in Candy Apple Red. Wow. More red poking through. That's a more subtle red. Look at that beauty. Mmm, yummy silica gel. That is a Fiesta Red. Humbucker single single, player plus Stratocaster. Okay, now what I could do is play some sound samples with each of these guitars and go through the specs and features as I normally do. Or I could take these two guitars to my band rehearsal and try them out in a band. I think we'll do that. That was me on the Jazzmaster and Steve on the Strat. I asked Steve what he thought about the Strat, and he said this. What do you think? It sounds great. And really uh, great playability, to be honest. And also the humbucker at the end is an amazing feature, of course. I think Steve absolutely nailed the best part about this guitar, and that's its playability. He also mentioned the humbucker at the bridge. But if you're into single coil sounds at the bridge, you can pull that out to split the coils. And I have to say, this is one of the most versatile strats I've ever played. And I'll get some more sound samples from it in a moment. But let's talk about the Jazzmaster. Now, the Jazzmaster is the guitar that I played at band practice, and I need another two hands. <laughs> um, yeah, the Jazzmaster, I was... I kind of gave Steve the strap because I thought that would be the better experience and I wanted him, you know, I was being polite, letting my bandmate have the better guitar. Because when I first took this out of the box and stretched out all the strings and tuned it, I felt that the playability was not so great on this. However, when I played it at band practice, this thing came alive. It's an angry beast of a machine. And it also has that coil split on the humbuckers so you can split both of these into single coils. And I'd say the main difference between these two levels of guitar, so the player and the player plus, is the time that's gone into that setup at the end of the build. So this has been set up really nicely. This could do with a little bit more time on it, honestly. Uh, maybe even a neck shim, which is quite popular on Jazzmasters. But I know you're dying to hear some more sounds, so let's do the Jazzmaster first. <laughs>
Now, I actually had to do a little setup on this guitar before I could record the sound samples because the intonation was way off. And every time I used the trem system, uh, it would go out of tune ever so slightly and it was binding at the nut. So I put a bit of lube in there. Apart from that, um, the sounds are quite powerful. For a Jazzmaster guitar, This the, the, the humbuckers are quite high output and it really feels like a loud guitar. So it feels both like jangly, almost in a Telecaster way, but I think that this guitar belongs with gain. So we'll do gain with this through the Victory Sheriff 25. <laughs> So this guitar is quite bright and thrashy, and I'm not sure that I enjoy that thrashy sound. Although I did use it at the practice for a couple of cover songs, and we did My Generation by The Who, and this guitar doing the, the main power, this. <laughs> with Steve on the Strat doing a much more warm, rounded kind of. It fitted really nicely together, but this on its own was far too bright. So beware of that. If you're not into bright sounds uh, and you're not ready to tame it a little bit with the tone knob, then this might not be the guitar for you. But playability wise, now that I've set the intonation, the trem system works well, although I would definitely bend that a little bit more so we can get it out of the way there and pull it back around there as many jazz master players do. So this needs a bit more bend in it. And aside from that, the neck and playability is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's, it's a delight to play. The body, the Jazzmaster body fits me so well. I love the way it sits in there, but I could play this for quite a while. Let's move on to the Strat. <laughs> So compared to the Jazzmaster, this is a lot lower output and it seems like a more tame beast, but it is extremely versatile and indeed, I think one of the best options you can have when looking for a Strat. A downside is that the humbucker at the bridge is a little bit overpowering for the other two single coils and when you split it, there's a noticeable volume drop, which you'd expect, and also when you try and split it, you can't always get your thumb or finger underneath that tone knob. So I would want that set up with a little bit more of a gap just in there so I could get my fingernail or my pick in there. That's, I find that quite hard to do, but that might just be me. Your mileage may vary. This sounds great on a blues setting. So let's try it with a clon and through the Victory Sheriff 25. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I think the neck pickup position might be my favorite sound from the guitar. <laughs> Full and round without being too dark. So normally neck pickups are quite dark. This one is still retaining its brightness. And that humbucker at the bridge, well. The feel of this Strat is generally a lot higher quality than the Jazzmasters. So even though there's only around 200 bucks between the two, the Strat being the more expensive of the two, this one feels like it's had better quality parts. And I wish that the Jazzmaster came with similar hardware to this Strat. So if I had to choose between these two guitars, my heart would want the Jazzmaster, but my head would want the Strat, which doesn't help me at all. I think they're both beautiful. They're both versatile and unique in their own ways. I'm really glad that Fender have this configuration in their catalog. I just think that this one needs a lot more work on it to make it really, really playable compared to this one, which came pretty good out of the box. Also, props to Fender for sending me stuff that isn't cherry picked. So sometimes when I get sent guitars, I think, did the company send me a special guitar so that I get one that's good for a video? I know that they didn't come from a cherry-picked group of guitars. They came straight from Fender uh, in a regular box, just like you would buy them. So rest assured that these are the same guitars that you would buy if you were to buy them. And if you do want to buy them, there are links in the video description down below underneath me right now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of these two Fenders. And if you want more from me, there's a subscription button just there. Click that and I will be there waiting for you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.